here is the project. It needs bodywork. Okay, it's a 1989, I believe. Daihatsu high jet, three cylinder motorcycle engine. Fully functional and drivable vehicle that is used currently till this day on the roads in Japan. The first thing uh, when checking out a project or when working on a project, you wanna assess the whole vehicle. See what needs to be done, mark it, and do the body work. Make sure you wash the truck before you start anything, the truck or car, with a good degreaser washer. So if we take a look at the project, you can see, yep, we have some dents, okay, some scuffing in certain areas. In here it was hit a little bit, so we're gonna be doing some body work down in here. Here I started pulling out some of the dents with my stud welder, okay, we had a little area up in here. And then we have a scratch that goes along the side of the bed, if you can see that red mark that I put there. But right now, the first thing you wanna do, okay, is figure out what you're gonna paint, what you're not gonna paint. Handles, I'm gonna paint the same color as the truck. So these are gonna actually be white when we're done. I started taking off the mirrors, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take off uh, the bumper cover, this light frame, this mirror is coming off, uh, the weather stripping for this window is coming out. Okay, we did the other side, as you can see. Front glass, okay, you can see the weather stripping is off here. Front glass is staying in. We're not going to the extreme and totally taking out the glass. You could, if you want to, if this is your project, if you want to take every part off, you could do that, and that'll give you an even more quality paint job, right? But if you do a good job in masking, and you only mask the black weather stripping or the moldings, you're not gonna get paint on them. So you gotta do a good job in masking. Um, let's see, we're not taking this back glass out either. We're just gonna be taping it up. And this bar will be black. Okay, so we're gonna be painting this a nice gloss black using our Mini X16 Mini Spray Gun, okay? Because this is a small tubular tube here, right, which would be easier painting with a small spray gun, okay? So we're going to take it off the truck and sand it down and paint it. It has some scuff marks in it, okay, not too bad. In the back of the bed here, we will be using a special liner spray, and as we get to that, I will tell you what we're using. All right, so in here we just have some of the tools that we're using to take everything apart. If we look to the back here, we're going to be taking out our lights. Okay, we're gonna be ta probably taking this tire off to get it out of the way. And uh, all the rubber, this uh, little mud guard here is coming off. Okay, these little rubber grommets here come off. And that's basically to stop this piece. Let me show you a cool thing about this truck. If we look at the yellow lines here on the side, okay, in between the yellow lines is where we're gonna have a different color. It's going to be a teal blue. We picked out a nice, aqua teal blue. I think this is going to be a two-tone truck. <clears throat> it's going to be white and teal. So it's going to look really good. So this front part's going to be teal in there. Then it's going to come down and be teal in there. Okay. Uh, the front is also, it's going to come around and we're going to have that whole front section teal in here. Okay. The lights probably redo silver. That front bumper cover is gonna be white, the same color as the truck. We're gonna do a pearl white and teal. And we're also gonna throw in uh, Moon Dust Pearl by X Finishes. You can check that out in the links below the videos or check out Zula.com to get the X Finishes Pearls. Amazing organic pearl brand. Uh, the best pearls that you can get. Similar to House of Color, but up more cheaper, affordable. This thing is gonna look pretty cool when it's done. Uh, as far as the mirrors, I'm not sure. I'm thinking silver. We could match the lights and do a silver, silver mirror, okay, with the lights. And uh, the wheels, I'm thinking we could do white, white wheels with teal caps to make them pop. In the under frame here, we will be putting a rubberized undercoating and probably be doing all of that black. So all that you see down here will be coated with a rubberized undercoating black. 
Okay, so really you're only going to see the truck painted and then that under section, the frame of the vehicle will be black. take them out because if you take the lights out you're gonna to have to readjust them they are adjusted now so pretty much we are clear of body work right we're not gonna be messing with the light it's in an area where even if we're sanding we're not gonna hit the light so we could just mask it up paint it and then just put this back on so I wouldn't even worry about taking off the lights like this, what I like to do is hit it with the wire brush, the wire wheel, to make them look new again and then you could spray paint them black if you want and screw in. Sometimes they look good just by cleaning them up. <laughs> 